What's up, gentlemen? Happy Friday morning to you. Brian Bandis here with The Married Man. Wanted to talk to you about uh, this idea that anything that we're trying to do, anything we want to prioritize is going to begin uh, with our mindset. And sometimes this is pretty obvious, right? I want to be a great athlete. I'm going to run a marathon. I want to do, you know, I'm going to build a company. I want to invent something, whatever. That, that starts with our mind. But uh, I think it's easy to overlook how our mindset uh, can affect our marriage and how we treat our wife, how we prioritize our family, etc. And so to me, it starts with this decision. I, I know one of the key things that I think has led to uh, the building of a healthy marriage for me is the fact that there is a 100% no gray area, like black and white decision that I know that I am married to my wife permanently, period. And so when we come to hard times and I come to those days where it's difficult where my wife frustrates me, I frustrate her, we're not on the same page. And trust me, those days absolutely happen. Um, there's not a question of, man, am I gonna am I gonna push through this? Like, are we gonna make it work? No, the question isn't whether or not it's gonna happen. The question then just becomes how. And so because I know I'm not going anywhere, she's not going anywhere, then our efforts go into uh, regaining that unity, rebuilding the trust, healing the hurt, whatever it is that needs to happen. We skip over, uh, are we going to, are we going to work this out and go straight to how are we going to work this out? Uh, in, in the, in the, uh, email this week, I referenced the book, uh, the, uh, the war of art, I believe it is. And, uh, it, it basically talks about how a professional, uh, commits themselves to their task and to their goal, regardless of their emotions. And we can apply that same thing here. I don't feel like a 14 year old who's like head over heels in my love, in love with my wife every day. Sometimes I feel that way. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm stressed. I'm frustrated. Sometimes she and I are at odds. We have a disagreement. Sometimes I don't know why she's mad at me. She doesn't know why I'm being short with her. Sometimes it doesn't feel like I want it to feel. And because I've made a decision ahead of time and said, here, I know who I am. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, it takes that emotion out of it. It's not that those emotions don't matter. They absolutely do. And they, they point to things that we need to work on. If I'm feeling hurt, she's feeling hurt. That points to a place where we need to, to tend to that. But what we do know is it's not whether or not we're going to work through it. It is how we're going to work through it because I know that I'm not going anywhere. So for you, if you haven't already, there's got to be this decision that says, hey, losing is not an option. Backing down is not an option. And so from there, we click into, all right, then how am I going to pull this off? How am I going to figure this out? How to build trust, build unity uh, through, through, yeah, it's easy through the good times, but I'm going to do that even when it feels crappy even when it sucks, even when my wife is really frustrating me, uh, or we are really at odds, and I do not feel in sync, and I wonder, could we ever even get back to that, right? The answer is yes, you can, and it starts with going, I'm not giving up, so I'm going to figure out how the hell to do this, right? So guys, make that decision. Decide, hey, I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I know damn sure that I'm either getting to that finish line or I'm dying on the way, all right? See you all next week.